Well, if he is not the greatest UFC featherweight champion in the promotion's history, he is certainly on the short list. That 13-fight winning streak that he put together at 145 pounds, likely something, DC, that will never be duplicated in this division. Yes, it'll be very tough because it's such a tough division. The guys that he had to beat in order to go on a 13-fight win streak was unbelievable. It was unreal to see the names on that list that Max Holloway beat. But the crowning moment was when he beat Jose Aldo twice to win and keep his UFC featherweight championship. And then he only topped that in the destruction of Brian Ortega. Max Holloway is one of the best fighters, if not the best fighter, 145 pounds has ever seen. And with respect to Jose Aldo, Conor McGregor, and anybody else, the UFC featherweight record books read like Max Holloway's Wikipedia page. We'll see if he can add to that total here tonight. Max Holloway has stepped into the octagon. This time, he wants to leave with that championship belt. Here's the UFC featherweight champion Ilya Topuria, undefeated when he arrived at the title fight against Alexander Volkanovsky, and he was able to break through and get the job done. There is an undeniable sophistication to his game. He is a layered striker. He can grapple. He can wrestle. I haven't seen anything resembling a weakness on film, but I think his greatest asset is his ability to stay calm, cool, and collected in combat, and also to exercise some patience when it comes to pursuing a finish. He's one of the best finishers in the division, but it is never forced, it is never bad out of hell, and that's why right now he's the hunted and not Volkanovski at 145 pounds. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Hot Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC pay-per-view. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Max Blast Holloway. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed US. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. All right, here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, Ilya Topuria, ready to go for round one. He has been a methodical fighter every step of the way in the UFC. He talked to us about establishing his jab early, the opportunistic with my takedown attempts. He's going to have the upper hand in most skills against most featherweights in the division. So it's about fighting on instinct, being reactionary, and pursuing a finish to make sure that the promotion feels like he's the next guy in line to fight for the featherweight title. All right, so a quiet pedestrian start to this fight, DC. Maybe too much respect on both sides. What do you see? Too much respect. And you saw it in the buildup. They were hugging at the weigh-ins. It's almost like we're watching Prince. You guys are here to fight. Get going. Start to implement the game plan that you worked on over the course of the last eight weeks of the fight camp. There's that jab from Max Holloway. Didn't take him long to find a home for that tonight. I mean, Max Holloway constantly fights behind the jab, and you would expect it at the start of every single fight. The jab leads to everything else that he does inside the eye. Oh, nice jab. Single leg takedown. 
Who crossed the midpoint in round one. Let's go! Get him off you! Get him off! Holloway's in half guard. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round and pop. Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. Oh, hang on a second. He escapes. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock. Create some space. Roll to your back. Give up the mount, but live to fight another day. Oh, he got to his spot. 90 seconds to go. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the mountain. Just go for the finish. Topuri is back in full mount. Making all these shots count. Holloway's in half guard. Nice defense. Great work here from the bottom fighter. Getting them out here. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. for the end of round one. Stop, stop, stop! Take a seat. Deep breath. Good. Relax. Take a drink of water and listen. We want you to set those kicks up a little bit better. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking them down. Getting taken Ready down and getting up is Ready. exhausting. Let's Go see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. That's how you do it. Beautiful kick by him there. I mean, what else can you say about that Max Holloway jab? Just makes it look easy. He makes it look easy, and now he's throwing them more. He's throwing more jabs because he has an understanding of what his opponent is doing in return every time he throws the shot. This guy's good, man. And we have seen him on multiple occasions have these star-making performances, which is why everybody loves Max Holloway. Oh, big knee to the body, man alive! Max Holloway at his best in the stand-up here tonight. Could there be any better representation of Hawaiian MMA than Max Blessing? And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is bringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. And now some separation. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight it's the kicks that lead the dance. Nice. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But there's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Man, is he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Misses with the right hand. Two minutes. Straight right hand, no good. Nice job by him defensively there. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, gotta protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Oh, good defense. Yes. Side control now. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Massive shot from the top. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Oh, great ground strike there, and now blood is a factor. Final seconds here of round two. Spinning elbow. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can win. Flying knee gets to the target. Beautiful flying knee to the head. Topoti is limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. Tries to mix in a takedown here. was able to block that shot. Heavy kick downstairs. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Yep, got to be very careful there. Postures up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Holloway. He passed the half guard. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Holloway. Now he's going full mount. He's got to start to get to the get-up process. Because everybody talks like you just get up, you don't. It's a process, right? You get to the underhook, you build to the elbow, then you start to gain height to get back to your feet. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on it. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, great reversal to top position by Topuria. Oh, guillotine choke would appear to be locked in. Yes, it is. Oh. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, man, you're doing awesome. Completely controlling this fight wherever it goes. I want more of the same. Go out there, be fast, be sharp. Do not relax on this guy. We can't... All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable strike. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself that you can do anything in 10 minutes. Let's go! Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. And they clinch. Oh, nice takedown defense. Great job of getting that leg kick to the target. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Just over two minutes to go. What a tricky head kick. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Sidekick, well done. Nice leg kick. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging, but down the line, you're going to really pay for it if you don't address it right now. Well, not a great visual now. Two professional athletes visibly exhausted like this. They have brought the best out of each other, and I guess if you're going to gas out, at least your opponent's gas too. At times, it was nice. At times, it was pretty. Right now, it ain't pretty. <laughs> oh, thunderous leg kick rounds. His opponent flipped a little bit, tried to stay upright. But, man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, it was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing Ready. with this cut on the cheek. Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Oh, that's another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Oh! And there it is! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 23 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Max Bless. How a 
about your boy. I mean, that's your boy, Max Holloway. I know you're an objective observer, but to see your friend produce a knockout like that on this stage, that's heady stuff.